$2,000 Social Security check for SSI, SSDIVA soon, and new Social Security increase, update vertical bar, SSA, SSI, SSDI benefits. Social Security serves as a critical lifeline for millions of retired and disabled Americans, yet the program faces serious challenges that demand urgent attention and reform from our nation's leaders. For over 50 years, the Social Security benefits structure has remained largely unchanged despite inflation significantly eroding the purchasing power of recipients' monthly checks. As a result, too many seniors today are struggling financially and falling into poverty, which is unacceptable given the immense wealth and resources of our country. Both Democratic and Republican administrations have failed over the decades to enact comprehensive reforms that would strengthen Social Security and ensure its long-term sustainability and adequacy. Minor cost-of-living adjustments are made each year, but these pale in comparison to the true inflation experienced, especially for essential goods. The latest 2.57% COLA increase for 2023 amounts to just $47 more per month on average, a negligible amount that does little to actually help seniors cover their rising living expenses. Grocery prices alone have increased over 20% in the past year. It is past time for bold action from our elected leaders in Washington. The issues plaguing Social Security demand an urgent response, as each day that passes without reform means greater hardship for more Americans. Several key actions should be prioritized. First, Congress must enact legislation to change how COLAs are calculated, switching from the CPIW metric to the CPIE index that better reflects senior household spending. Second, a one-time $2,000 stimulus payment should be provided immediately to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries to help address their current financial needs. In addition to these shorter-term measures, our policymakers must also tackle the long-term structural problems facing Social Security that threaten its solvency and ability to provide adequate benefits decades from now. Several bipartisan reform proposals exist that could strengthen Social Security for 75 years or more, such as gradually raising the full retirement age and applying payroll taxes to all wages. While such changes may be politically difficult, Failure to act will only make the problems far worse down the road. Our leaders in Congress have a responsibility to come together across party lines, as past generations have, to secure this vital program upon which tens of millions rely. Beyond legislation, educating and activating constituents remains critical. Too often, important issues affecting seniors fall off the radar of other age groups who do not see the problems as priorities for themselves yet but a just, compassionate society requires all citizens to consider the well-being of each other, especially the vulnerable. All people, regardless of age or ability, deserve to live with dignity. Thus, it is incumbent upon civic-minded individuals to contact their representatives, write letters to the editor, and have respectful discussions with friends and family members about the need for Social Security reform. An informed and engaged electorate is the surest way to generate the political will for change. The current inadequacies of Social Security also highlight how much work remains to be done in reducing poverty and income inequality across America overall. While economic growth over the past decades has outpaced that of other developed nations, too many have been left behind without sharing in prosperity. According to the latest data, over 10% of seniors live below the official poverty line, and the real number is likely far higher given how outdated federal standards have become. No person who works a lifetime should have to worry about affording basic necessities in retirement. Reducing economic hardship must become a higher national priority through comprehensive strategies that strengthen the middle class. The issues confronting Social Security are urgent and demand action now. For over 50 years, hardworking Americans have paid into this system with the understanding it would be there to support them in their later years. It is an injustice when the program fails to deliver on those reasonable expectations due to inaction and neglect by our leaders. Current beneficiaries deserve better, and future generations should not confront an even more diminished program. Our representatives in Congress must find the political will to come together across party lines and pass meaningful, long-term reforms that secure Social Security's future and adequacy. And all citizens, regardless of age, have a shared responsibility to make their voices heard on this vital issue affecting tens of millions. Only through an informed, engaged public and decisive policy changes can we preserve Social Security as the secure foundation for dignity and security in retirement that it was meant to be.
while enacting legislative and policy solutions through Congress remains imperative, achieving comprehensive Social Security reform will also require building public understanding and support. For too long, a lack of political will in Washington has been blamed without sufficient scrutiny of Americans' own knowledge and priorities on these issues. All citizens share responsibility in electing representatives and shaping the national discussion. Thus, efforts to better inform the public through various mediums must be strengthened. Public schools could incorporate more lessons on basic retirement security concepts starting in later elementary grades to foster early financial literacy. Community groups and nonprofits focused on aging issues have an important role as well through educational seminars, workshops, and publicity campaigns. Faith organizations are well positioned to raise awareness and action through sermons, newsletters, and volunteer opportunities. Social media also presents vast untapped potential for constructively spreading information to wider audiences. Advocacy organizations and concerned citizens could create more engaging multimedia content, from short videos and infographics to longer blog posts and podcasts. Harnessing new communication technologies represents a promising avenue to start more Americans thinking seriously about Social Security much earlier in their lives. Additionally, enlisting trusted public figures as spokespeople and champions could boost knowledge and support levels. Respected community elders, who personally rely on Social Security benefits, have powerful, authentic voices to share their experiences. Politicians on both sides of the aisle, who are willing to put partisanship aside and jointly endorse sensible reforms, should be highlighted. Endorsements from prominent business, nonprofit, and religious leaders across diverse demographics could also lend credibility. A unified, nationwide effort is needed to reframe these issues from abstract policy debates into urgent personal and communal priorities. Moreover, connecting Social Security conversations more explicitly to principles of justice, dignity, and intergenerational responsibility may spark greater public interest. For many, statistics about trust funds and actuaries do not intuitively convey the true human stakes. Stories and perspectives bringing these issues down to individual lives and communities have more potential to motivate concern. Highlighting how guaranteed retirement security upholds social contracts between generations who both contribute and later benefit could find widespread resonance. Appealing to shared hopes for a society where all members, young and old, can live with basic comfort and freedom from want may prove a wise strategic approach. At the same time, some observers warn against an overly negative focus, arguing it risks resignation or partisan scapegoating instead of solutions. Constructive discussions emphasizing opportunities for progress through cooperation may galvanize action more than those dwelling on past failures. A hopeful, solutions-oriented frame portraying needed changes as improvements rather than mere fixes could build optimism. Focusing on shared goals of economic security, community well-being, and an ethical social safety net across ages may bridge some divides in an otherwise polarized climate. 